Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a Xerox transfer onto a piece of wood. So we have our piece of wood, this is five by seven, and we've printed our photograph five by seven. We also flipped the photograph ahead of time and then cut it out so that there's no extra white paper around it. So make sure you've done that. You're gonna need tape and you're gonna need these chart pack, they're called chart pack blender markers. These have a chemical in them, so make sure you are in a well-ventilated area. We don't do them in my classroom. I make students go out into the commons area where there's big space and lots of ventilation. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to begin. You're going to start, I'm gonna go down so that you guys can see my paper. You're gonna start by taping your picture face down onto your wood piece of, your piece of wood. I usually just use one piece of tape and kind of wrap it around the edge so that I can lift the picture up and down as I work. Um, make sure it's positioned well. I didn't do a very good job at that. Let me fix it. Okay, then you wanna make sure you have a really good pen. Um, there's pens that have been more dried out and they're usually like more white. A good pen is more clear looking. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but you can kind of see a difference. This one's white, this one's more clear. You can tell that this one's more juicy versus this one's more dried out. So you wanna get a good juicy pen <laughs> And you're gonna work small sections at a time. You take the cap off, make sure you don't touch anywhere where this chemical is going. So I'm gonna draw a little section, put my cap back on, and then rub at it. There should be no reason why your hands need to touch the liquid, but you are gonna press pretty hard. What you're doing right now is you're separating the ink from the paper and pushing it onto the wood. And I like to do that quite a bit. And you'll see now when I lift this up that my photo has started to transfer over. And you'll just keep doing little sections at a time. Make sure you slowly lift your picture up to check on it. And once this pen dries, you can't go back and fix things. So you literally only have one shot unless you print another photo. So you got one shot, make sure you're working quickly and um, that you rub nice and hard on there to get it to transfer. So you do little sections at a time. like that and at the end your photo should be completely transferred onto this piece of wood it won't work, look perfect but it'll look kind of vintage and really cool so that's how you do it good luck